One of those shareholders joins us now. Glenview's Larry Robbins is with us. Larry, thanks for coming on today. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Yeah, you were part of the ad hoc group of, of shareholders. You surprised at the outcome? Give me your reaction to it. Uh, we are not surprised with the outcome. Uh, uh, we've seen the situation in, 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 uh, in, in other post-bankruptcy situations uh, in, in the past. I mean, uh, Glenview's been around for 20 years. Uh, we saw it in a negotiation with Clearwire, which was out of bankruptcy. We saw it uh, going back to the early 2000s in the PCS affiliates and in the, uh, uh, and in the uh, cell phone tower companies. Uh, oftentimes, the bondholders, uh, uh, when they need to reorganize, will try to keep all the value to themselves. And in this case, as the economy recovered, as the travel economy recovered, it was obvious to, to us and others uh, that there's a role for the equity holders to play, that there's rightfully, rightfully a recovery for equity holders. And so we, we've been a longtime investor in, in Avis uh, and in the space and in a fan, fan of the rental car industry. And Karthik Sarma and the team at SRS have done a fantastic job of remaking Avis's board and management, and unfortunately, Hertz's balance sheet uh, in the pandemic was not nearly as flexible as Avis or as Enterprise, and so they had to go into bankruptcy for liquidity reasons. What is clear coming out of the auction is that there there uh, is a significant uh, equity value, and we're certainly proud to have uh, uh, teamed together uh, with Discovery, Two Seas, and Alta, and others uh, in order to advocate on behalf of all shareholders. Uh, that they receive their uh, their proper uh, participation in the new plan and the new company. You mentioned how these things can generally and historically turn out. I, I spoke with another person earlier today who was involved in this process who described the shareholders winning as, quote, truly historic. Do you see it that way as well for what many people thought could happen the other way? Uh, uh, I, I think that uh, we, we were a little bit taken aback that the uh, advisors to, uh, to Hertz seem to prioritize speed over fairness. And uh, again, we, 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 uh, we, we appreciate the fact that the you know, Centerbridge, War Warburg, and Dundon group put in a lot of time and effort um, and, and, and presented a, a clearly credible plan to move Hertz forward. Um, but there is not, was not, and never was an urgency that there was a five-day or 15-day deadline by which this company needed to emerge or that it, it, it would somehow be damaged. And we're, we're in a unique time where the travel economy went through clearly a, uh, a, 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 a highly disruptive event um, that is repairing at, at, at quite a rapid rate. I mean, one of the things that, that, that people have been talking about today is how hot CPI was. Um, in part, it was hot because uh, uh, because uh, airfares have gone up dramatically, travel has recovered dramatically, and so we know that we will see this resumption in both leisure travel, which has been uh, stronger than people anticipated, and ultimately corporate travel. So we have a unique situation where, on the one hand, out of self-interest, we had some creditors that obviously would love to have kept not only 100 percent of their claims, but 110 percent of their claims if they could keep all the equity and get out the door. At the same point in time that we had a rapidly repairing travel economy. Uh, that's why a group of us got together six weeks ago uh, in order to advocate on, on behalf of the uh, committee. I think it's also important to note um, that the winning group, Knighthead, Cerderus, and Apollo, uh, also brought uh, significant uh, synergies and strategic benefit to the transaction that creates incremental value and really put, in our, in our eyes, uh, put that bid over the top and brings the additional value uh, not only to the equity holders in terms of their recovery, but an important part of the plan is that investors uh, uh, in, in Hertz uh, do have the right to invest additional capital in order to uh, equitize the company coming out of bankruptcy. And, you know, the plan value is at seven times 2023 EBITDA, and I, I know that the company is going to be anxious to uh, put forth uh, uh, information about why they're so excited of the plan. Our own work uh, does indicate that there's probably some upside and basis for optimism to that plan, and therefore uh, it, it was uh, uh, certainly uh, our pleasure uh, to be able to commit to the billion six rights offering. We committed uh, uh, a significant amount of money to, to that rights offering, uh, but also it'll be to, to determined as to how the other uh, equity holders want to select their value between warrants or the right uh, to put up additional capital in New Hertz.